on, oi! Shark on it, reefies. Reefies. Okay, good morning everyone. Today, Eden and I are just about to launch the dory for probably what's gonna be one of the last videos we'll ever shoot in this boat before my new boat arrives. But we're just down at our local boat ramp in Dampier, Western Australia. Inside of this fish bag here, we've got a heap of red claw. I caught a heap in the river not too long ago and I froze them. So they've been in the bottom of my chest freezer for months now. We've got all the rods in here. We've got the dive gear as well. We're launching on the low tide. It's about seven o'clock in the morning right now. It's gonna blow up later in the afternoon. And that's about all I've got for you for now. Let's get the boat in, sting it out there, and we'll see what happens. All right, so we've just pulled up to the ground that we're gonna be fishing today. And as we've come over the mark that I've got, this is a spot that I dived a few weeks ago now and it was loaded with some pretty good fish for the depth that we're in. So right now we're on the very bottom of the low tide, which is five meters of water. Bugger all, when I dived this, there was 10 meters of water here. I'll just quickly show you guys one clip of a ranking cod I shot here and the fish that was sort of around it, so you know what we're looking at down there. So they're the red claw, they come from fresh water or brackish water in the rivers up here in the Pilbara. They're a pest, we can use as many as we want, keep as many as we want. So I'm gonna lift the anchor now. It's a bit of a choppy day today, so I'm gonna be mainly focusing on the filming and the wheel, but I'm still gonna get a line in the water. Eden's probably gonna be the fishing superstar again. I'm gonna drive around onto this mark. We're about 30 meters off of it, drop down, and hopefully get onto some blue bone and trout with these red claw. Eden's hooked onto a good fish, so it looks like I've got time to switch to this camera, I reckon. I think it's a trevally for sure, for sure. Big red. Oh no! Gone. Whoa, there we go. Lucky you took it. Yeah, big fish. Yes. Big fish. Oh, busted me. It might have been a shark. Took the one hook off. Mate, that was unreal. There's a lemon right there. So that's a big lemon shark. Probably a bit over two meters. And Eden's got a queenie on out of all things. And that shark, probably gonna come in for round two, but that was very entertaining. Wing fish. Oh, watch your rod tip. Just watch your hands, bring it in, just grab it by the leader. Or if you want me to. Be careful of that shark. Up and over. Yay! That's a stonker queenie. Big, big queenie that is. That was hell cool. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. So that's what we call a queen fish here, kind of like a trevally. Blend between a trevally and um, maybe a mackerel would be the best way to explain them. That's a very good size one that is. Yeah, I think I've got a shark on. I didn't even feel it get taken, which usually means shark. You don't usually want to bring a shark in, but you kind of want to get your rig back, so... We're only in 20 metres of water, so it's not like an impossible task, but it's probably that lemon that came in just before... ...chasing her queenie. Hey, Don't go in. There's a, um, a big nut on there that someone's used as like a weight, and her hook is through that weight. I don't even think she's hooked the shark. Yeah, what the heck? <sighs> He's either going to break off. Look at this. Just Cut it after the... No, no, I think he's... I don't even think you're... Oh. Okay. 
Okay, there you go. So there's Eden's whole rig back. She never actually even hooked that shark. It was purely that hooked onto another rig that was in the shark's mouth. What are you calling? Oh, I don't know. I've got no idea because it, it's bumping though. Oh, okay, it's got smaller, but man, the strike was intense. Is it a big black surfer? Of me. No, it's a big black surfer. Perfect. That is awesome. Okay. That is a great example of a black snapper, that one. So he's technically an emperor. Yeah, awesome fish that one, five star eating. They really don't get much better than this. Okay, so we've just found our way back in, back into shore. We're back on dry land. The boat's on the back of the trailer. Uh, today we got defeated miserably. We've only got one fish in the bag. But in saying that, Eden and I have a tradition where on the day that we catch the fish, we never eat the fish that we caught. So we're gonna show you guys what we're gonna go get for lunch dinner. It's about half two in the afternoon right now. And then we're gonna carry this episode on into tomorrow. So we'll take that black snapper home and we're gonna clean it up tonight. I'll show you guys that. We'll go get a feed and then we're gonna work out between ourselves what we're gonna do tomorrow, whether that be crabbing, take the boat somewhere else. We're gonna try something new. Today we did try something new, which was the red claw chasing blue bone. Did not work out as it seems. But anyway, let's move forward from here. Go get our food, clean the fish, and then we'll start fresh in the morning. Hey, can I please get a medium Whopper Junior meal with cheese? With a top and um, with a vanilla iced latte. With a vanilla iced latte. Anything else? And then... Spicy sauce. And a spicy sauce. And one spicy sauce, anything else? And then... Carolina Jack's fried chicken, large. With a top. Uh... Today, Junior! I'll get a coconut sugar for the drink, please. Anything else? Gosh, I think that's about it. And then? And a frozen Coke too, thank you. One last frozen Coke, anything else? No, that's it. And then? Uh, that'll be all, thanks. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. So, the beautiful thing about Hungry Jacks in Carafa is they have a nice, big, wide drive-through that you're seeing now and you can actually tow a boat through it if your boat isn't too big so they get all our business on the days that we go fishing because we just come straight through here after fishing we have absolutely no interest in cooking anything when we get home got to clean the boat clean the fish and the last thing you want to do is cook up the fish you've just spent all day working hard for hey, it's beautiful Good catch. redemption day for Eden and I so yesterday we came into an agreement in the morning before we even went fishing that if we had a terrible day on the water we would come out today on the Sunday to make up for it so what we've actually done is driven to the eastern side of Caratha and this morning we're about an hour away at Point Sanson now this is the first time either of us have ever launched a boat here or gone fishing out here so this is going to be completely new to us we're going to be checking out some new islands some new ground things we've never done before 
the aim is to do well today we actually need some fish so we get a lot of making up to do for how tragically we failed yesterday but you get those days we're gonna get the boat in the water we've got the low tide right now we can get out there and see what we can get <laughs> So we're out at the island now that we wanted to get to, Eden and I. It was a pretty good trip over here, a little bit rough, but we're inside the island now and Eden will show you guys around with the camera quickly, just to show you what I'm talking about. It is very calm and beautiful in here. I've got a fish on. Um, anyway, so we're just in the shallows right now looking in in front of all the coral and the ledges that's sort of where we might want to fish and dive the tide's still pretty low at the minute just drop that fish so what we're going to do is we're going to send the drone up and then with the drone we'll show you guys what we're looking at but it gives us the best view of basically all the ledges the reef and the bombies that you can't really see that well from your sounder but from an aerial view you get a clear picture of what they look like we're going to try find some stuff to fish probably between seven to 12 meters. Even though it's calm and it's pretty clear in here, there's still only about three meters viz for diving. I don't really like to dive unless it's about five meters viz. So I'm gonna send the drone up right now and then we're gonna drive along. We'll show you guys what we're marking and then we'll see what we can catch. So I've just put the drone up and it is looking back at us. So I'm gonna sync the video right now. One, two, three. Okay, so we're coming onto a good bommy right now. Eden's just fishing. I'm gonna have droppers on it. Literally straight on it, so. On straight away. Is it? Yeah, she is. So straight away. Oh, she's dropped it. Eden just hooked a trout straight away. There's another bommy just next to us, so I'm going to mark as well quickly while we're here. <laughs> All right, that's a bit of fun on a four inch jerk shad. Oh no, well at least it's not going to try and get me under because it's pelagic so that's always nice. That was a big take. Not the fish I'm after, but it's a bit of fun to start the day. Oh no, shark on it, reefy, reefy. Hey. Come here, buddy. Come on. <laughs> Save yourself. Save yourself. Come, come, come. Oh, shit, he got off. All right. All right. Well. He's off and away from the shark, but that was just another queen fish, same as yesterday. So we don't want them, but when they smack your lure or your jerk shad or whatever they leave of it, and they're jumping around the wall like that, it's pretty fun. So, little black tip getting around as well on the hunt for that one, but we'll get back down, get back on the bottom, and hopefully find a trout or something better. Well, I'm glad you guys missed the first part of this video where I was screaming good fish. It is a good fish, just the wrong size. Yeah. He's about to cost me a finger. Can you grab me the behind you there, the hook pull as well? Alright. It's 
small coral trout there. Throw him back. Just came out of four and a half meters of water, but it looks like there's gonna be plenty more of them down on the bottom there. So whether there's one, there's many, so we'll get back down and see if we can find the big one. Eden's on. Question is, what's she got? Is that a boat? What is that? A shark. Is it? I think so. Looks like she might have a reef on, yeah. What's up with me and sharks? We're just about to head deeper if we don't get anything decent in a sec. Oh! Likely a shark. Oh boy, I bought chocolate! I forgot. You want some chocolate? I'm okay, thank you. Oh! Wow! Oh, that's poor. Cross, that's good. Yeah. on it was a massive strike so please be a fish and not a shark I'm calling the bottom fish <laughs> must be close it's getting high on the sounder we're in 27 meters of water now we decided to come oh, out man. oh China <laughs> That makes sense for why it was fighting so hard. Bugger. Cool. We'll chuck this guy back. Go get me your gap first. Goodbye to big Mr. Chinaman there. So if we just found the other Chinaman. <laughs> yeah, literally. Alright, Eden's back on again. We just dropped again. This time I didn't start the camera from the get-go. I'm just going to let her play on the GoPro there while I pick my back down because we're holding the spot so I want to hook up as well. What is that? Oh, it's a Trevally. Wait, is it? Yep. Trevally. He's going back as well. So that's two good sized fish now, but not the right species that we're after, so... That's a pretty interesting little patch that we're on that we've managed to find in just under 30 metres. So we're going to drop back down again. Just use a bait, freshly caught. Let's see what we get this time. Oh, what? Oh, what are the odds? That's a Trevally again for sure. I was just saying Eden will move now. Nothing was happening, but she just got a strike on the jig. It's actually coming up, might be something different. Not as big as the other one. What is it? Hey! Spango? Oh, beautiful! <laughs> I said Spango today yes. too. Awesome. I'll get her to hold that up to the other camera and I'll get a good photo of it. Okay, tell us what you got on. What do you got? Um, I have a Spangle Penta or Spango and I got it on this 90 gram jig and I just had like a tiny bit of um, Spanish flag on the hooks and yeah, that's it. <laughs> Alright, so that's our first keeper, demersal fish for today, which is an awesome find. But we actually said this morning that we thought we were going to get something different today, and I sort of hinted maybe a spango. And then Eden's come up with one, so that's awesome. Alright, so we've just reset the drift. I've come back around to where Eden 
just hook up with that spango. I marked it. It's probably about 30 meters from our original market. We're on a couple of drops ago, and then there's another arch down on the bottom right now, 25 meters. I'm hoping it's another spango with any luck. So, we'll see if we can find it. Yep. Yon. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Alright, with any luck, this is going to be the other spango. So... Let's have a look. I reckon it might be, eh? It's a good arch. Yeah, I want to go. Oh, sweet. How good is that? Oh no. What is it? Oh, more one. Is it a more out of everything? Yeah. Oh, that'd be my luck. <laughs> right, we got a big Moe, and Eden's on though, so that's nice. I'm sure she's probably got the Spango. <laughs> Probably won't pull this fish in to show you guys, but it's just a. Oh, are you joking? Sweet lip, Moe. Oh, and she does have the other spango. <laughs> Serves me right, eh? Sorry about that. There's the other one. I don't think he's as big as the other one, but that's alright. Well, I'm happy for her because whatever she catches, we get to eat together anyway. That's pretty funny, half my luck. So yeah, back on the same spot, on the same same drift line. She gets the spango. I'll get a fish that's not even worth showing you guys, but it's fun to reel up, so. You should swap to a jig. Yeah, might do. All right, so we're gonna reset and get back down again and keep trying our luck and see if we can turn this day into a good one. Oh, yeah, oh! Beautiful strike. All right, well, I'm going to film that one. Once again, Eden's on and I'm not. This is a good fish, whatever it is. It's fighting. What do you think? I don't know. I hate calling stuff. Is it another China? Yeah. I didn't want to say it, but... <laughs> I didn't want to say it either because I thought I'd jinx it. Another Chinaman fish. That'll go back. See you, Matt. Alright, I was just going to re-rig then and then Eden's hooked up once more. So let's have a look. It got lighter, so... That's a good sign. We don't want it to steamroll on the whole way because then it pops up looking like a Chinaman, but it gives up a bit. Either a Spango or a Trout. Go on. What's going on here? Oh, another one. Hello? Yep. Yeah, now it's a black snapper. Blue line. Yeah. Cool. That's the same as yesterday. So we've got nothing but emperor all weekend now. Can't complain about that. So this one is referred to as a black snapper, but it belongs to the emperor family as well. So same thing, likes to sandy, corally, weedy bottom, sort of not too much structure around. That's why we're finding it in the same place as the spangled emperor. Just as good eating and very welcome on the boat. I just hooked on again in the same spot that we got those spangos, but it's not that big, so. But we'll see. Just a little Chinaman. Another China, three strong. 
Right, this is what I've done to get down and try find some mangoes for myself. Just a 6-0 octopus hook with a Spanish flag on there, fresh caught. Two running sinkers straight on the leader. They can knock around to each other. They're going to pick that up off the bottom and hopefully it's my turn this time around. He's going back in the ocean. Pretty sure I just got stripped. Maybe, maybe, maybe no! Yes! Oh, I dropped it. Oh, no. Did I drop it or did it just swim up? Oh, no, he's about to hop on my oh mate, that was a good fish. Yep. Eden's got it now. <laughs> oh no! He's massive! Yeah, there's some good fish down there, whatever they are. Oh. Alright, I'm about to be back on again. Jesus! Oh, I feel like that's maybe a shark. Alright, I'm back on. No, oh, it's a fish. I'm on again. I don't know, mine's a horse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, all right, I've got busted off, but this is wicked. There's <laughs> fish everywhere on the bottom. Surely, surely, big red, surely. It's good, there's a good show. Hopefully the GoPro doesn't die in a second. I'll get oh, no! You're still on? No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Am I? Yeah, you've definitely got weight on there still. Oh, unless you've got a shark. <laughs> well, I lost it. Oh, I dropped. Oh, yeah, I've only dropped mine, that's all. Eden's still on. Hopefully it's not Trevally. I would have loved to have known what mine was, but I just pulled hooks, that's all. Anyway, switch this over to this camera now. Something big under the boat, whether it's this fish or not. Trevally, I think. Silver. No good. Yep. All right, golden there. Another golden Trevally right there. That's as much as I'm going to show you guys on that one. You I need can, a Red Bull. You can go back and we'll get back down and see what else we can get. He's got something small on. No. Oh no! It's a good sign, anyways. That's the uh, that's the one to get us excited. A little red, red emperor. It's not what you want to see when you're about to finish up your drift. So yeah, juvenile red emperor, stripey on the jig. All right, Eden's going to chuck it back, swim off. See you, mate. Okay, so we didn't get anything on our last drift there, which means the bite shut right down, which we were expecting. So now we're going to head in a couple hundred meters one of these islands and see what we can do down there hopefully find some trout blue bone any more of the bummy like species and see what we can get our hands on leader I've got. Oh, got me straight under a ledge. Uh, what do you reckon it is? 
don't know, I want to say trout. This is why I put it straight under there, but I don't know if I'm going to get it out because we're so close to the rocks here. Come on. Yep, go on. Yes, yes, yes. Please be a good fish. I think it is a good fish, eh? Go on. What is it? Oh, oh no, it's foul hook. Bugger. What is it? I don't know, something um, smaller. Just a little bone? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Massive big PB blue bone there. Is that going to fit in the esky? Big thing. He can go back. Alright, welcome back to my living room. Now, I know we just jumped ship from the ocean back to inside of the house again, but Eden and I decided to wrap it up after the last clips on the water this afternoon. It was something like 3 o'clock we decided to pack up and head back in. It was about an hour by boat in pretty choppy conditions and then the hour's worth of driving to get back home again. But today went reasonably well. We were pretty happy. In all, the whole weekend was just emperor for us between the black snapper, which is the blue lined emperor and the spangled emperor. That's literally all we bagged and took home out of all the fish we caught. But they are a welcome change to the normal blue bone and coral trout that we normally get so it was good mixing it up good fun okay so some things we got coming up is i've got the new boat coming next month it was meant to be here this weekend that we filmed this video and we we're going to go down to perth to pick it up but that hasn't been the case it's been delayed by about six weeks so that's coming late april very excited for it next month eden and i are hoping to get to shark bay i haven't been there in i think about a year and a half I would love to get back. She's never been at all, so I want to show her that. And if we do, we'll make a series of videos there. I've been renovating the house that I'm in right now as much as I can in my spare time, and that's sort of taken up the bulk of my time being able to edit videos and so forth. But I'm going to put some more time back into YouTube. On top of that, I've also just hit 20,000 subscribers. So to anyone that's watching this and has subscribed, thank you very much for that. It's a good milestone to hit, and it's exciting to see it still climbing. Anyway, thank you for watching this one. It was a pretty eventful weekend. We had fun on the water fishing two days in a row. We can't really complain about much and we'll see you guys again soon. <coughs> All right, everyone. So that's a wrap on today. Um, me and Eden shot out there. We got a couple of good fish, not quite what we expected. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. That's for you to do. <laughs> But is the lighting good?